What's up everyone? How are you doing? I'm the detective and today I have something pretty cool to unbox. This is actually the Bakugan Mactanium Surge starter pack. This is the Asian release. You can see here it says Sega Toys and New Boy. New Boy was actually a distributor for just generic like products, not just Bakugan. Uh, but basically they have uh, a distributor for kind of products in like the Middle East and stuff and actually on the back there's actually uh, where is it there's actually some Arabic right there so that's actually kind of interesting I actually have a, a cobalt saber which is a beat -em on I actually have one of those sealed in the pack and that one is also from new boy so yeah but I'm really excited for this pack because fusion dragonoid is in it and I do have a fusion dragonoid but this is the normal version so yeah three Bakugan and nine cards what Bakugan is you can battle by using Bakugan and cards roll and pop out Bakugan on the card uh, going on the back, some description on how to play. You can just pause the video and read that text. Some random stuff on the bottom. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little bit dented up, but I'm going to open it up anyway. So yeah, I'll open it up and then we'll take a look at the Bakugan inside. All right, so here's everything out of the box. We have this big pack of cards. It's really thick. You also get like some sort of like arena or a how to play guide, which is pretty cool. We're actually going to start with that. But if you don't know, the three Bakugan in the set are Pyrus Fusion Dragonoid pretty cool. Ventus Skytrus and Chaos Wolfurio. So two out of the three of them are anime accurate. So that's really nice. But we're actually going to start out with these cards because but the Japanese Vicanium Surge cards are something which I get really excited about. I actually already have a bunch of them but let's take a look at them. All right so I just had to adjust my camera but let's take a look at what we get. So this appears to be a little like how to play guide or something yeah i actually took a i think i took a look at it in my unboxing of infinity helios because he was also in one of these uh, asian release mectanium surge uh, triple packs but let's take a look at the cards i don't want it to be too long so just pause the video if you want to read the effects of these cards but titanium dragon away that's really cool art it's very weird but very cool as well just feel free to pause it kind of odd that there's not a fusion dragonoid card uh Okay, <laughs> I'm assuming that these cards are actually random because we just got two of the same card in the exact same pack, so that's a bit weird. Another dimension, ooh, that's some really cool art. Look at Crowl, Chaos Crowl right there. So yeah, read the effect if you want. All right, Shield Smash. It's cool, Boulder on it. Is that Darkest Crowl? I think that, that might be a Darkest Crowl. Cuff, that looks kind of like Lugia from Pokemon actually. Predictable smoke. That's a pretty cool, uh, pretty, pretty cool drawing of Dan. I believe that that's actually Dan from Godalian Invaders because he's wearing that white suit. That's kind of actually, it's actually kind of odd that he's on a Mectanium Surge card in his Godalian Invaders costume. Ooh, time for the gate cards. Oh, nice, Wings of Light. I'm actually gonna read these. The winner of this battle may choose to move one ability card, which was used, which used this battle from used pile to unused pile actually a pretty good effect ag lab silver Ooh, what bakugan is that it looks like a bakugan it looks like there's a lot of rounded off parts so it looks like a transformed bakugan but i have no idea who that is if you guys know who that's supposed to be let me know because that looks really cool maybe it's an unreleased guy i don't remember seeing him in the show but that's pretty cool and uh that's that kind of sucks it looks like it's a bit bent it's kind of odd is that the last gate card in that infinity helios pack was also uh, a bit bent on the side so i hope that that's not a problem with all of them i don't know maybe i took it out of the package wrong or something but stand back look at that face <laughs> that face it just looks so stupid <laughs> no ability cards may be played in this battle only jump bakugan can use blue ability card so yeah, I think that Sky Raiders are Jump Bakugan. Uh, that's what they're called in this uh, version. So that's pretty interesting. But let's move on to the Bakugan in the set. So here is Fusion Dragonoid, and he looks pretty cool. My other Fusion Dragonoid in Pyrus is the Camo version, which still looks amazing. But I did really want a normal version of this Drago, as it's actually the only version of Dragonoid that I don't have just the standard version and standard color of that Bakugan so yeah but he looks really cool uh he's got obviously the big feet for the Sky Raider 
Unfortunately, he has a bit of Alto Bronte's disease. Kind of reminds me actually of Dragonoid Ultra. Now that I think about it with those little pieces in the back, just the wings kind of fold up. Very simple. He does have the Baku Snap, but no G power on those. And I actually like that because the Baku Snaps on most Bakugan actually look sort of ugly. But anyway, yeah, there he is. Let's roll him onto a card. All right, so here he is all folded out. You just gotta prop up the horns and there we go. And he looks pretty cool. The plastic quality on the uh, on these Bakugan is definitely a bit better than the plastic quality of some of these Spin Master versions. It's got the little peg in the back for Reptac. I actually have a Pyrus Reptac. Uh, my box of Skyrainers is in the other side of the room, so I won't be able to get him right now, but maybe I'll do another video on the Aero Blitz combination. Let's take a look at the G power. So, 550. Nice. A lot of people like high G powers, but honestly, I like lower G powers because a lot of my favorite Bakugan, and most of the Japanese Bakugan, like the actually the ones that were in Japan, like the, even Bakutech, like really the highest they went was like 750. So, I just prefer Bakugan with lower G power. So, 550 is definitely better than like 900 any day. But, yeah, he's pretty cool. MG on the bottom. And that pretty much wraps it up for Fusion Dragonoid. Alright, so next up is Sky Truss. Another uh, Bakugan. He was actually Darkest in the show. And I do have a Darkest one. But Ventus is still cool because it was a callback to Skyris, Shun's original partner. So obviously Ventus is probably like the second best attribute that you can get this guy in. Uh, he does look kind of ugly on the front because the big spring for the Sky Raider legs is where it is kind of housed there. But um, ignoring that, the rest of the ball form actually looks pretty cool. So let's roll him out onto a card. So here is Skytris all folded out. And you do have actually a lot of manual parts. So start off by propping up these tiny little flaps over here. You can fold out the inner parts of the wings and fold those spikes down and then the head actually moves you don't have to move it down but i just like to put it down just a little tad bit and he actually looks really cool all folded out uh, i will say the detailing is very very nice on this bakugan fence symbol in the back mg mark on the bottom so yep let us reveal the g power on this guy something 40 i'm gonna guess five yeah 540 so there we go uh fusion drago was 550 so unless wolf furio is more powerful uh fusion dragon no it is the most powerful in the pack which does make sense but there he is he's pretty cool looking in my opinion so here is hey Oswald furio i actually already have this one so i am selling it to someone actually uh i kind of bought this pack with that partially in mind because i wanted the fusion dragon but nothing else and someone actually wants this Wolf Furio, so yeah. The one that I already have is the Spin Master version of this Bakugan, so it does have metal, and it the metal on it kind of makes it a bit tricky to actually roll it onto a card, especially rolling straight, but this one already looks like it's a bit better because it doesn't have any metal, so it's going to be much easier to roll onto a card. All right, so here is Wolf Furio. He has three manual parts. Just bring down these feet in the front, and bring up the horn. Oh, that's a pretty stiff horn. Uh, my other one has a pretty loose horn, actually. And there he is. Uh, so, yeah, he looks really cool, in my opinion. Well, Furio's a great Bakugan. I really want a Darkest version. That would look really cool. But anyway... Uh, oh, 580 Gs. Wow. So, well, Furio is actually the most powerful one in the pack. Yeah, so Fusion Dragon was 550 and Skytris was 540, so this guy is actually the most powerful one. I'm pretty sure that my Spin Master one is around like 830, but obviously it was much higher G power in like America and Canada where the Spin Master ones were originally released, and also in Europe, but yeah. So that's pretty much it for Wolf Furio, and that's it for the pack, so let's move on to my final opinions. So that's it for my review of this really cool Bakugan Titanium Surge starter pack. Now, would I recommend this set? Yes, but to be honest, every single Asian release of Mectanium Surge is pretty rare in its own right. So if you find one for a good deal, I definitely say snatch it up, even if you keep it sealed, because it'll probably be worth more in the future. 
But this pack specifically is really great because it has two Bakugan, which are the anime attribute, that being Fusion Dragonoid and Wolfurio. Both of these Bakugan are worth around like $30 to $40 each. And so yeah, if you definitely find this pack cheap, it's definitely worth it. Packaging on this set is really cool as well. But yeah, guys, that's it for my review on this pack. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the detective, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.